it's going to fit before I get started. So, so, so uh, what I want to show you is uh, one of the tools out of this project called Quirky. Uh, some of you may be familiar with it, some of you may not, but Quirky is a open source project that adds very common search controls uh, to Solar and Elasticsearch if you use it. Um, and it's a library that allows you to do query rewriting, hence the name Quirky as a sort of a, a joke on the word query rewriting. And so uh, what I'm firing up right now is a demo project uh, that you can visit uh, that's on GitHub. See, github.com slash quirky slash chorus. And it's a stack of various uh, relevancy tuning tools uh, that you can use. And in fact, we actually use Blacklight as the demo uh, front end application. So. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different technologies that get deployed, and one of them is this quirky demo. So I'm going to pause real quick, check, make sure my demo is up and running. It is. Oh, good. And I'm going to show you. So, so this is. Uh, so, so uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, a pretty common. Uh, uh, yep, I'm resuming my share. Um, is a pretty common relevancy tuning problem. So I'm gonna demo using this Chorus Electronics um, imaginary web store. Oh, port 4000, sorry, gotta make sure I'm on my right port. Uh, here we go, come on. I was having demo god problems earlier today, so here's hoping everything here we go. Uh, and so here I'm showing you, right, this is an e-commerce example, not a library, but it's still using black up and a black light. Uh, and so I'm going to demonstrate to you um, that um, a, a common query, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to search for projectors. Uh, wait. Right. And so here you can see we have lots of projectors, right? So that's a pretty good research. Right now, I'm going to search for notebooks. Let's see how we're doing. Hey, okay, there are some products. Are those actually notebooks, though? No, if you think about them, they're accessories. And we often find this thing in search that somebody searches for something, and instead of finding the item that they're really looking for, they find everything else about that item. Right. And so you can see here, I have to scroll actually fairly deep uh, before I finally start finding some notebooks. Um, so it's 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 a pretty common problem in e-commerce. We call it the accessories problem. You search for iPhone and you get iPhone cases. You search for notebooks, you find accessories for notebooks. But we can actually fix this. And uh, so I'm going to bring up post 9000 this tool called the Search Management UI, SMUI. Not a great name, but funny, fun to say. And what it allows us to do is at very little risk, we can fix individual queries. So I'm saying, hey, I wanna make my notebook query better. So I go in here and I say, I'm gonna, for the notebook, I'm gonna make a rule. And there's a couple of rules that are exposed right through this UI that is you know, really meant for a non-technical person to use. We can create a synonym. We could say boost up or down uh, a piece of information. We could apply a filter. Uh, we could maybe delete part of a query, or we could even make a redirect that would send you to a different website. And so I'm gonna use my knowledge that I actually know that in my schema, I actually have a field called product type. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna boost on the product type, not as much as possible, some, and I'm actually gonna boost on the word notebook. 
because I know that I have a product type where all the notebooks, all the laptops are actually labeled notebook. So let me go ahead and save that rule. And I'm going to push this configuration to solar. All right, let's go ahead and rerun this query and see if it got any better. Ta da! We just improved that query because we knew that there were act, uh, a label, right? Let me show another example. So we also have laptops, right? Notebook, laptop, synonyms for each other. And as you can see, we still have the same kind of messy data for laptops. Well, what can we do to fix it? Ah, well, I can go in here and I can uh, add a new synonym. And I'm gonna say, and it could be either a one-way relationship, a notebook is a laptop, but a laptop is not a notebook. That'd be directed or undirected in this particular case, because I want laptops to match notebooks. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, push my change to my little pre-live environment right here, because it says quirky pre-live. I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for laptop. And now I'm getting back the same results. Now, I did never given this demo because in general, I always assumed that in sort of libraries and other sort of repositories of knowledge, making these sorts of rules was too cumbersome, right? You go in here, you have to create rules, you can rewrite something. But what I'm finding is that often I can create a rule that enables like solving a whole bunch of different problems that I might not realize. And it's a really easy way for solving. It's often the easiest way to solve a really hard problem. I could try to improve my core algorithm and make the relevance better, or I could just go in here and make a rule that sort of matches a set of patterns. So, so that's what I wanted to demonstrate really quickly today. Um, to find out more information about this, you can go to quirky.org. Um, and while it has a heavy e-commerce slant, I think it can actually be really useful for many different uh, problems. And you can go ahead and there's documentation about the quirky library that goes into solar. And this little demo app, Smooey, uh, you can learn all about here. And then obviously, if you want to try out the demo that I just ran, you can go ahead and go to here. So um, yeah, and then as well under these news, there's a couple of presentations and things about the uh, uh, history of the Quirky Library. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe some, if you have any questions, reach out to me and I'd be happy to talk more about it, but maybe uh, using active search management, which is what we call this creating of rules in conjunction with your uh, Blacklight solar interface, uh, you might be able to solve some problems that you couldn't else otherwise. So, all right. Thank you.